Another type of translation that we can uh, encounter in trigonometric functions is a vertical translation. And this is very similar to what we saw in, in many other functions as a vertical shift. Now, going back to a, let's see, we're doing a tangent here. Um, tangent. I should put B. Well, let me start that over. All right, so A has to do with amplitude, which in a tangent function, there amplitude's undefined. There is no amplitude. Uh, B uh, has to do with the period. Uh, the H deals with any horizontal shift or any phase shift, phase shift, and K gives us any vertical shift. And what we see is a shift in the midline. So here it says, state the amplitude period vertical shift and equation for the midline for y equals the tangent of theta plus 3. Now notice that this plus 3 is not in a parentheses along with theta. If it was, then that would be a phase shift. But it's sitting, there is no parentheses here, or if there was one, it would be sitting outside. And that represents this vertical shift. So let's see the amplitude. Well, it's a tangent function, so therefore there is no amplitude. As far as the period, on a tangent and a cotangent function, the period is determined by 180 divided by the absolute value of b. Well, in this case, b is 1. So our period is 180 degrees. Uh, if we're doing it in degree mode, if it was uh, in radians, it would be pi. Uh, there is no phase shift, and so then the vertical shift we would say is k is equal to 3. So it's a vertical shift of 3. And what else does it ask about the midline? Oh, the equation of the midline. The equation of the midline would be y equals 3. We'd see that midline shift from the horizontal axis at 0 up 3. So now we're going to go graph this on our graphing calculator. Let's think about uh, how we might want to set up the window setting before we go. We got a period at um, 180. Uh, I want to go at least probably 360 so I can see two two periods. I am going to need to change my y minimum and y maximum. We're just going to shift it up three, I think. Okay, I think I'll use negative two and six. All right, we're going to move to the calculator. All right, we're on the calculator. And again, I'm doing sinusoidal functions. I probably want to check my mode. Am I dealing with degrees or radians? And in this case, I am still dealing with degrees, so I, my mode's okay. I'm going to go to my window setting. I we talked a little bit about that on the previous screen. I think I can leave my x minimum at negative 90, x maximum at 540, scale 45. I need to change that y minimum, though. Uh, well, I could probably leave it alone, but I think I'll raise that up to negative 2. And we're shifting this thing up 3 units, so I'm going to go 6 there. All right, so let's go in here. Well, first, let's graph the uh, parent function. And then we'll graph the transformation. So our parent function would be the tangent of x or theta. Let's just go take a peek at what the graph looks like. 
All right, each check mark is 45, so at 45, 90, 135, 180, so my period is 180. My midline is at zero. This is before any transformation. I would have asymptotes every 90 degrees. If you look how that works right there. We've got asymptotes every 90 degrees. All right, that looks good. Let's go now graph the transformation. Let's see, what was that equation? The tangent of theta plus 3. The tangent of x. <coughs> and I want to close my parentheses. Plus 3. All right, so our translation is going to appear in red. And if you look where it crosses right here, look, we went up 3. So we had a vertical shift up 3. Our period is still, if I go from here to here, let's see where, oh, let's go from here to here. It's a little bit clearer to see. It's still 180 degrees. I still got asymptotes every 90 degrees because we had no phase shift in this. And so there we are. We've seen a vertical shift up three, which I can tell if I look at the origin here, that's where my blue line crosses. And if I go up three, where zero, x is zero and y is three, we can see the effect of that vertical shift. I think next we're going to combine it all together.